Hi, I'm David from Tourism Ireland and I'm here in the Bagot Inn in Dublin city centre on the search for the perfect Irish coffee. And here's the man who's going to show us how to make that Irish coffee, Gareth Williams, manager of the Bagot Inn. Gareth, thanks a million. Pleased to meet you today. Pleased to have you. You too. Okay, before we start making the Irish coffee, where exactly did it come from? It all started in Shannon Airport. There was a barman and uh, basically had a group of Americans on a stopover and they were cold. It was a winter's day and the whole lot, so uh, the barman decided to put a whiskey in his coffee, in their coffee, okay. and that's where it all started. Okay, well, smart man, and the rest is history. That's okay, right. first things first, heat the glass, you were saying? Yeah, step one, heat the glass, always have that glass nice and warm, okay. so it's not too tempted. So just a bit of hot water? A bit yeah. of hot water, yeah. Leave it in for a second, just to make sure the glass is nice and warm. So because if the glass isn't warm, then you, it goes cold too quickly? Cold, too quickly, exactly. Because when you open the whiskey and the whiskey isn't hot, so it's all Fair chill right. straight away. Okay. Okay. So your glass is nice and heated. Glass is nice and heated. Okay. So we got two spoonfuls of brown sugar. And sugar, no matter if you have a sweet tooth, you need the sugar in here. Well, right. so sometimes if people don't have too much of a sweet tooth, they might only ask for one. Okay. The general would be to put two in, but okay. some people might be fussy. Then, sorry, we go with the whiskey next. Whiskey next. Just one measure. One measure. That's an Irish measure then. That's an Irish measure. A real, a real measure. A real measure. <laughs> Okay. Only Irish whiskey, yeah? Only Irish whiskey, sir. It won't be Irish with a whisk. That's a good point, Garth. Okay. And then coffee? Coffee in on top. Okay. And you were saying it's very important to give it a proper stir. A big, big stir. Make sure there's no sugar set in the bottom of the glass. Sir. Okay. It's always a good idea to have it in the glass and you actually see the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure it's all stored. And if this is a typical uh, glass for hot drinks? In Ireland. Okay. Yeah. So you're giving that a good stir, eh? Good stir. Yeah. And just always check the bottom. Really no granules. No granules. No granules. Okay, and then we get our cream. It's very important. Our cream is not just slightly whipped. So yeah, I was, I was looking at that. It's not thick like you would in a hot chocolate or something. No. It's actually quite liquid. Just liquid. What you're going to do is you want to pour it over the back of the spoon and layer it. Oh, nice. On there. This on is the a bit of this is a bit of class then. This is a bit of the class. Okay. Oh, I see what you mean. Otherwise, it'll just sink in. Exactly. And if it's too thick, it'll it'll sit, but it'll, it'll sink as well. That looks lovely. And you were saying a few a few chocolate sprinkles. Just to finish it off, a bit of class. A bit of class again. Just a couple of sprinkles. Very nice. For a presentation. That looks great, Gareth. We're we going to have a taste test. Ola, do you want to taste this for us? See if Gareth's up to scratch with his Irish coffee? What's the verdict? It's very it's delicious. Very good. Brilliant. Gareth, thanks so many for having us today. No problem. Thanks Thank very you much. very much, mate. Thanks and so that's much. it from Tourism Ireland and the Bagot in the Dublin. Cheers.